Thomas's friends were excited. He was taking them to the warehouse. Jack couldn't wait to get to work. Hurry, Thomas, he called. I'm going as fast as driver allows, chuffed Thomas. Don't mind Jack, called Alfie. He's always in a hurry. Soon Thomas had delivered Jack and Alfie to the warehouse. Miss Jenny warned the machines about the very busy site. So you must be careful, she said. Anyone causing an accident will be sent back to the yard immediately, added the foreman. Ned was worried. He sometimes caused accidents. He didn't want to be sent back to the yard. Don't worry, said his banksman. I'll make sure you don't back into anything. Most of the machines were working very carefully. Ned's banksman guided him around corners and through the stacks of bricks. Oh, boy, said Ned proudly. He was having fun. Jack was having fun, too, but he wasn't being careful at all. Slow down, Jack, Kelly boomed. You'll have an accident. Not me, Jack shouted cheerfully. Thomas could see Jack was being careless. He hoped his friend wouldn't get into trouble. But Jack did get into trouble. He backed into a stack of roofing slate and smashed it into tiny pieces. Blistering buckets, said Jack. He looked around. No one had seen him break the slate, not even his banksman. Jack knew he had been naughty, but he didn't want to be sent back to the yard. So he filled his bucket full of gravel and drove away. Ned didn't see the broken slate and rolled right over it. Ned, cried his banksman, you've knocked over the slate. I didn't do it, protested Ned. It wasn't me. But there was nothing Ned could do. It was an accident. His banksman would have to call Miss Jenny. It's not fair, grumbled Ned. Alfie pulled up just as Jack saw Ned driving slowly away. Where's Ned going? asked Jack. He knocked over some roofing slate, said Alfie. Thomas is taking him back to the yard. Ned was in trouble. Jack knew it was all his fault. What should he do? Alfie could see Jack was upset. What's wrong? he asked. But Jack didn't answer. He raced off without a word. Wait! Jack shouted. Wait, Miss Jenny! called Jack out of breath. Ned didn't break the slate. I did. And Jack told her what he had done. Miss Jenny was cross. It was brave of you to own up, she said. But what am I to do with you? Send me back to the yard, said Jack sadly. And so she did. As Jack was being loaded onto Thomas's low loader, he called to Ned. I'm sorry you got blame for my accident. I should have owned up earlier. That's all right, said Ned. But I'm glad it wasn't me. It wasn't me. It wasn't me, sang Ned as he steamed back to work. Good for you, Jack, Thomas called. All the way to the yard, Jack felt good. Deep down in his pistons, he knew he'd done the right thing. <laughs>